I was yeah. reading an article about your uh, job at KUSI. CI. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, it said you have a bunch of HR Puffin stuff memorabilia. <laughs> what memorabilia do you have from HR Puffin stuff? Well, that's funny because I have hundreds and hundreds of Simpsons collectibles. And so the fact that you you walk away with the HR, the two HR Puff and stuff <laughs> items I have is interesting. Um, back when Tower Records was a thing, I used to love to shop there for music and then find all sorts of other stuff that was just uh, fantastic uh, music books, uh, you know, DVDs, books, and mostly toys. And so uh, I got a HR Puff and stuff, um, you know, action figure which is my garage now but um you know sealed 9.99 marked down to 4.99 i'm like well i was a fan of that when i was a kid and you know this is a really cool toy and it's only half price so you know there it was and then fast forward uh you know more than 10 years later i had to get the cling and clang so i found it on the internet and paid like 20 or 25 dollars and so i had that to match that uh, that set, but I, I did start collecting Simpsons. I started collecting Simpsons toys when Burger King came out with their little little watches. dolls. They had. Oh no! What's that? Was it the watches? No. Well, I did, uh, somebody gave me some of the watches, but in the very first year of the Simpsons, they Burger King had a deal where you buy, you know, spend a certain amount of money and for nine dollars or whatever, you could get one of these, you know, little stuffed doll figures. Oh. And so I collected those, and I collected a handful of things over the next decade, but it wasn't until I came out with the Playmates toys versions of the c characters, um, none of which I have within reach now because they've all fallen down. But um, uh, so then I started collecting those and then it just went crazy for you know, a good 15 years. I don't know. I, I, I stopped collecting a, a, a while ago, but I, I have countless, um, Simpson stuff. I do have a, a large collection of Kish, Kiss action figures and, and collectibles. Uh, I have uh, all the Family Guys figures. I have King of the Hill. I have uh, another favorite of mine, Wallace and Gromit. A lot of those collectibles, actually, uh, it's not within reach. But, you know, and then in the 90s, I collected random stuff like um, Disney on ABC had the show Dinosaurs. And so I, <laughs> you know, when, it's when a flashback, the dinosaur show. Yeah, and uh, I was watching the history of comedy on CNN, and they talked to uh, Brian Henson and the, and the other guy that produced the show, and they were talking about the show. I'm like, oh my god, we got Hulu or not Hulu? We got Disney Plus, so my kids could watch Star Wars and a couple other things. And so we discovered that we could watch dinosaurs. So my eight year old and I went, went through all four seasons, and really enjoyed that. But it's all these things that I collected. I mean, I've got up here. I've got a from when I was a kid the snoopy oh dang and this is actually copyright copyright the uh, 1965 the year i was born but then i seek out other things of things i like and this is probably one of my favorites and makes me think of kevin <laughs> well that's jigsaw right one of his three impressions yeah, one of his three impressions Do you want to play a game <laughs> it's just like it oh, oh yeah if that answers in, in long form your question about the uh <laughs> the puff and stuff but uh yeah well the thing is everybody knows what the simpsons is but when i saw yeah. puff and stuff i'm like wow so wait before we leave that you guys does anyone else on the show know what puff and stuff was yeah negative jen yes i know that okay um that's a so for Lindsay, i think it might be the only one maybe drew i don't know um it was the sid marty croft uh one of the sid marty croft shows and so yeah. they had Sigmund the Sea Monster. They had yes. Ralph was just talking about this. Yeah, that's right. Witchy Poo. Yeah, uh, yeah, HR Puff and stuff. Then there was one where these people were shrunk, and I forget the name of it. Um, there was a handful of shows, and there were Saturday mornings kind of, they would come on kind of after the cartoons. So maybe like the 10 30, 11 o'clock spot, at least where I grew up. Um, so yeah. And, and I believe when I lived in Los Angeles, right off Laurel Canyon, and those really fancy, cool, old, like, buildings is where Witchy Poo actually lived for a while. Oh, wow. So, and she passed yeah. away this this year, I think. Did she? Yeah. Way, Ralph? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I loved Lidsville. Uh, I also loved uh, Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. They, apparently, they did a remake of that, and I thought that would be a little bit less campy for my kids, but it was it was. it was worse than the original. So <laughs> they, I'll take the original of almost anything. I think that was only on one season, right? But they just reran it endlessly. 
probably. Yeah. They made a big screen remake of Land of the Lost, which was yes, another that, yes. uh, Sid and Marty Croft show. So Lindsay mm-hmm. might have seen that one. Yeah. Very bizarre guys, bizarre shows. What about dinosaurs, Lindsay? What Did about you see dinosaurs? The, the prehistoric animals? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Y- you oh. might know it. And then the little baby would go, not the mama, not the mama. And it, it had the best it had the best season finale of any show ever. Yes. <laughs> and I don't remember watching all four seasons when I when it was out uh you know in the early days of Kevin and Bean but uh so some of those episodes it was cool to see them for the first time and to see that uh, amazing finale. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't really watch the show until I heard about the finale and then I watched the finale and I was like this is pretty good. The finale is great. <laughs> We were Basically. talking about dark shows the other day. Remember, Christopher, like Rick and Morty, and you can't yeah. get darker than that finale on dinosaurs, can you? Yeah, it was completely opposite of theme. The asteroid comes and destroys them all. That was oh a my. kids show. It was a no. prime time show. Prime time. It was a oh, prime time show. Yeah. I ninety one to ninety four. Yeah. Yeah, I was a toddler to a, a young young the, buck back then. So there's, there's no way. <laughs> there's this thing called Disney Plus and the internet. <laughs> I Googled it and I looked at the Google images and I'm kind of out. <laughs> well, if you Google dinosaurs, you get a lot of different things, but you, you have to get ABC dinosaurs or, you know, Disney and dinosaurs. TV show. Yeah. But right, I mean, play- this was uh, Sherman Hemsley. Hemsley was the angry boss who always yelled at everybody. And, uh, so, and they had, and um, uh, the mom on the dinosaurs, which I didn't know at the time, obviously, because the show wasn't out. But um, Jessica Walters was the voice of the mom. Uh, 30 years looking. So you couldn't really, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, I do hear that. But anyway, just fun fact. <laughs> yeah, if you go back and watch that, you said it's on Disney Plus. Yeah. The animatronics and the dinosaurs, the effects, the production values, really amazing. It's like well, it was, a Henson there... produ- it was a Henson production, yeah. so it better be. Everyone out yeah. there, just take a look for a couple minutes. You'll be blown away by the detail, how they look and sound and work. It's well worth a look. Yeah, watch like one of the early episodes and then watch the season finale just so you could appreciate the season finale. 